Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. So in today's video, I am going to explain uh, a little about fountain pumps and the dam model uh, that I have uploaded uh, a couple of years back. You know, like uh, even till date, I am getting a lot of queries okay, regarding the fountain pump and how I have installed the fountain pump the dam model how does it work and many many other queries okay so so if you look at the dam model in the comment section more than 90 percent of the comments will be like related to fountain pump and how it works how have you installed it in your model so th that's the kind of query so i decided you know to just uh, demonstrate it to you how i have kept it in the model how does a fountain pump work and all those stuffs okay this is a fountain pump it's a bit bigger one okay and i think hope you'll remember this one you know this is a fountain pump that i've been using for more than uh, two years now now this is the same fountain pump that i used in the dam model that i had uploaded two years ago it's good now you know like it's working fine now see this green hose pipe i attached it manually so every fountain pump it comes like this okay this is a pump okay you you will have a small uh, uh, pipe fitting like this okay to insert the pipe you know you can put a half inch pipe or a one inch pipe here even this fountain had the same thing but attached fixed a hose pipe for uh, i think for one of our science project i did not remove it so this fountain pump comes with a wire okay this is a, basically a small pump and you know like it comes with a plug see it comes with a plug okay you will have to insert the plug in an uh, electrical source you need electricity to run this pump okay this uh, fountain pump you know, like the reason it's called a fountain pump is because uh, these uh, types of pumps are mainly used in water fountains you would have seen those waterfall fountains i have one too i'll show you so this is my water fountain so at the bottom at the bottom of the water fountain in this region you have a similar fountain pump okay this fountain pump pushes the water up to the top of the fountain and then uh, the water flows out and goes down due to gravity it goes to the bottom tank and then it goes up it pumps the fountain pump pumps up you know and comes down and it cycles this is the same principle i have used in the dam model the reason this is called as a fountain pump is because uh, you know, these types of pumps are mainly used in water fountains apart from water fountains these fountain pumps are also used in air coolers you know that we use in our home like, uh, they use in aquariums too okay to pump water that's uh, it's the same thing see this is basically the same motor you know like water motor that we use in our home the big motors that we use to uh, pump water up uh, to our overhead tanks okay this is the same motor you know like it works in the same uh, type the thing is like it's uh, you know this is a comparatively very uh, small model okay so now i'll just demonstrate to you you know like how it works okay because most of you have been asking this from the comments i can understand that uh, you have not uh, seen you know a fountain pump and uh, uh, how it works you know you have not seen how it works so first let me demonstrate this and then i'll show you the dam model okay the dam model and how i you know like fitted it where this will be sitting and how where this hose goes and how it works okay so now i have a tray with water okay so i'm going to demonstrate how this pump works see this pump basically you know what happens is see you see these slots here right these holes water from the tray gets into this hole now it is sucked and pumped through this pipe and it comes out okay and then uh, you know it cycles okay like if there's no water it stops and one more uh, caution you know please do not run this fountain pump without water okay see there is a, as a general rule you know like when you run a fountain pump you know you should have at least a centimeter of water above this level okay above the top level of the fountain pump at least a centimeter of water means you know like this fountain pump should be completely immersed in the water okay and make sure even if you're using these things in your projects make sure that you immerse the fountain pump completely inside the water else your fountain pump may get heated up quickly and it may burn okay so now i'll just place it as this is for a small demonstration i'm not immersing the fountain pump completely inside the water you know, like it is partially immersed because the more the water the outlet will be more the water will be flowing out more and so i'm going to turn it on now let's see see, see do you see 
When the fountain pump is completely immersed into the water, it flows more outside. When the fountain pump is not completely immersed inside, you hear that sound and you know the flow uh, from the outlet pipe reduces. See? So I'm lifting it up so that the pump is completely submerged into the water. See, you can see the flow now. Okay. And so here is a two year old dam model. It's good, you know, like it's good to use now. You know, like, but except, you know, few portions are broken and these towers that I did, it's broken. Except a few breakages, it's good. And so now uh, let me remove these parts one by one. Okay, see if this can be removed. Okay, we'll remove it just for demonstration. So this is a bottom tank area. Okay, this is where the water uh, stays. You know, you will have to first put water into this tank. Okay. And then from this tank, your, your water pump pushes the water up to this reservoir. Okay, to this portion, the reservoir. And from the reservoir, it flows out through these three holes. You know, like it com it comes down, gets into the bottom tank again, and then it goes up and it cycles. Okay, this can run continuously for uh, you know, like uh, even if you want it for uh, days. You know, like it can run continuously. So, and one more suggestion from my side is like you just try to make a small model this model has become very big for me to handle okay see and this is yeah i hope you remember the dimensions the, these are the dimensions i made it 100 centimeters long it's a meter long it has become very difficult for me to handle okay so this will be extremely difficult for you to take it to your school or to your science exhibitions stalls and all so i would uh, recommend you to make a 50% smaller model than this so what you can do is like you can just use 50% of the dimensions that I have shown in my damn model video okay so just 50% of uh, all the dimensions and you will get a 50% uh, smaller model and that model will be very easy for you to carry it to your school or to your exhibition stall it will be very easy for you to handle okay so that is my suggestion the main purpose of using cement in this model is just to give a look and to you know block uh, water okay so that water does not flow outside okay to make the model waterproof and uh, just uh, to give you a look uh, of uh, you know like cement you know concrete uh, dam model that's it this is, uh, apart from these two reasons you know, cement is not going to be useful in any way to you if you have seen my model you can just lift it and if you see at the bottom see that okay there is a small provision there you know like this is where you know this is where the, your fountain pump will be sitting okay this portion okay fountain pump will be sitting here and uh, i'll just take the camera okay because it's uh, you know like uh, I'm, I'm not able to assess it okay so if you go inside okay do you see a pipe there okay see th that is a pvc pipe okay this pipe the pvc pipe is this one this pipe whatever you see here this pipe okay so basically what happens is see this is the fountain pump i have attached a small green hose pipe so, so this one you know like uh, in case if your model is uh, too big you may have a lengthier pipe or if it is smaller smaller pipe so this end okay from the fountain pump this end should be connected to the pvc point under the reservoir the pipe that you see here okay so now let me show you a side view okay see this is a, a fountain pump okay the green hose from the fountain pump should be connected to this PVC pipe, okay? And then from here, uh, the water from the bottom tank is pushed up to the reservoir through that hole, okay? And from this reservoir, the water flows down through these three holes and goes to the bottom tank. And then once again, the pu pump pushes the water up, you know, like it comes down and it happens. It forms a cycle, and, okay? I hope this is completely clear for you guys. 
and you can just let me know okay in case if you have some other doubts in this model you can just let me know and all the best to you guys for your exhibition science exhibitions and other stuffs so i'll meet you up in my next uh, model bye bye stay safe and have a great day thanks for watching ds1 play see you in the next video subscribe for more videos why not subscribe right here right now don't forget press the bell icon the choice is yours ds1 play Thanks for watching.